what is up guys welcome back to another video um so i wanted to go fishing today but it is freezing it's like 50 degrees which isn't really that cold but it's cold and so if so i decided i was gonna do a my gear for 2019 so yeah this is what you're gonna do so let me set the camera Okay guys, so starting off with the, with my first spinning rod, I, this, I got this recently, this is my second newest rod, it is a, it is a Zebco, um, it's a Zebco RT50, and this is going to be my catfish and bowfin rod. It is a two-piece rod. It is a, where does it say? It is a seven-foot rod. It is, it's medium. It's medium, heavy, and it has 25-pound monofilament on it. So, this is my rod for the catfish and bowfin this year. And you guys are going to see a lot of videos fishing because, um, this year I'm going to be grinding, making videos. So this is... Do you guys hear that? I don't know if you guys heard that, but I am not sure what that was. And I'm kind of scared, so I'm going to hurry up. S second rod. This is my bluegill rod. It is a... Worm, it's a South Bend. I got it at Walmart. It was only 10 bucks, and I needed a spinning rod that I could just have fun catch bluegill on to use as bait. So it's just a South Bend worm gear. Sorry, it's upside down. South Bend worm gear. It's backwards for you guys, probably, but yeah, just a South Bend worm gear. It has it has eight pound line on it, and it, yeah, it's just my. Alright, this is my trout rod. This, this is a this is a five foot six spinning rod with um eight pound test. Yeah, this has eight pound tests on it. And it is a universal action, a black cat. And the reel that I have that sucks when my other rods just fell. The reel that I have on this is a I don't know how to pronounce it. I got it off Amazon. It's a Solga -le Lang. Don't know how to pronounce it. It has eight pound tests, 13 plus one ball bearings, and it's just it's a nice reel. If you guys are looking for a cheap reel, it was 20 bucks. It is a good reel. I like it a lot. So yeah, I have this is my trout rod. I have a little fake plastic egg on there right now. Yeah, I was hoping to go trout fishing today in a creek up the road, but all the creeks are flooded and it's really cold. Alright, next rod. This is my, uh, the line fell out of the thing. This is my newest rod, but it is a 13 fishing, is a 13 fishing Creed SE. It, it is a spinning rod. It has 12 pound braid on it. And yeah, this is gonna be my my rod for spin for flipping and that kind and that kind of stuff. It's all wrapped up because my cat got a hold of it. But the reel on this thing is awesome, guys. Just take a look at that reel. And the rod is nice. But yeah, it's just a nice reel. I really like it a lot. As you guys can see, 13 fishing. It's backwards probably. And Creed SE. Yeah, and that's my bass. That's my rod for flipping for bass and stuff. Alright, on to the bait casters. So, this is the first bait caster. It is a Luz um, Carbon Fire Speed Stick. Right there can't get it in one frame oh the sun just came out and it has 
50 pound braid. I'm not sure why I have a rattle trap lipless crank on there, but for some reason I do. The grip on this rod is really nice. I got this rod for $40 at Field and Stream. It was 50% off. Yeah, and it's just a really good rod. And then the um, reel that I have on this is a Luxita, um 12 plus 1 ball bearing, 6 to 3 to 1 gear ratio, and yeah, it's just a nice reel. This was my first bait caster, actually. If you guys are just getting a bait caster, get a get one and put braid on it. It really makes it easier to help get backlashes out, and just it's easier to use. So yeah, that is my um, that's my first bait caster. All right, second to last rod for this year. This, sorry, it has a rod sleeve on it. Ah. The hook is caught up in the rod sleeve. I'll get back to you guys when I get this out. Alright guys, so I finally got the out of the rod sleeve. But this rod is a 6'9", medium heavy. It has 15 pound monofilament on it. And it is a Abby Garcia Vengeance with a Abby Garcia Ultramax reel. And as you guys can see, I have a Ned Rig tied on there. I should have this Ned Rig on my spinning rod, but I don't know why I have it on here. Some reason, some odd reason, I do though. This rod can, this rod casts like extremely far. I really like this rod. This is my favorite rod. Oh, I just scratched myself. But it, I got this at Field and Stream for... Eighty dollars, yeah, eighty bucks, and it's a really nice um, rod. I really like it. Yeah, it's it's really good. It's made out of twenty-four ton graphite. Not really sure what that means. I have an idea, but I'm not really sure. All right, last rod. This rod is the only one of its kind that I have. It's not the only one of its kind. This is a fly rod. As you guys probably know, I tie my own flies. So, you guys will probably see those videos coming soon. This rod is a This rod is a Crystal River 8 foot um fly rod. It is a 4-5 and it has a, I have a crotch. Yeah, I'm not really sure. You guys probably can't see it. But, and it's upside down for you guys. But, it says like crotch. Not really sure. But I have four or five line on this and I have just a Prince Nymph tied on this because that's what I was using the other day when I went fly fishing. But the reel actually broke. I wouldn't recommend this reel, guys. I'm not banning this comp. I'm not like, um, I don't have anything against this company, but I would not recommend getting that reel. Yeah, I just have a little Prince Nymph. Yeah, it, one of the wings fell off. A fish bit it and it fell off isn't uncommon but I tied this fly myself and you guys should see a video of that soon I'm tr I'm still trying to find out what a good editor is so the videos you guys probably won't really they're not gonna be that edited for a, a little bit until I get a good editor but yeah that is all my rods for 2019 yeah, I, I really like all these rods except for the, sorry guys, I can't see, hang on, except for the fly reel down there, uh, that's the only one I don't like, besides that, I like all these, yeah, all these, don't know why I'm zooming in, but 
yeah that'll do it for today's video guys um so make sure you guys check out some of my other videos and i would like to hit a hundred subs by the end of 2019 by 2020 i want to have a hundred subs that's my goal for this year so yeah if we can make that happen that'd be nice so can you guys subscribe and like the video all right that's it for today's video i'll catch you guys on the next one bye